Thanks for tuning into our seller interview series. Up to date, we've got an advertising and AdSense business for sale in the sports niche. Created in April 2011, this business makes $2,718 per month in net profit, and the listing number for the site is 40795. Now, we do these interviews to give potential buyers more information about both the seller and the sites they're looking to purchase. We hope these insights are helpful for you in making a buying decision. We've got the seller with us today to go through the business and cover everything from niche selection to traffic and monetization. Thanks for coming on, Tony. Hi, how are you doing? Doing good, man. I know it's uh, early over there, uh, but before we dive into the questions, just to give everyone out there listening in a quick summary of this business. As I mentioned, it was built in April 2011, monthly revenue of $2,969. Expenses are sitting at $251 for that total net profit of $2,718. And that is over a three-month average. And with the sale of the site, the purchase will include the domain, WordPress program, graphics and files, as well as other forms of media, which are all on the server currently. So my first question for you, Tony, is can you tell us a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses? Is this kind of your first site, or do you have many different businesses you operate currently? Well, we have four different type of platforms. I do have a jazz radio site Ah. platform. We also have a news site, that's newsroom.com, which is political and tangent, but it's mainstream news. Very good content providers, BBC, USA Today. AP, UPI, that type of format. It's engaging. We have a a Twitter and social media account that's attached to it, roughly between 30 to 60,000 follow that particular platform. It's also attached to our jazz music. So at any given time, you could have 100 to 120,000 uniques in any five-minute period listening or reading um, content on that platform. That's for the other site, not not this site, though, right? Correct. Correct. It's cool, man. It's awesome. So you're kind of a serial entrepreneur in that in that sense. It's really cool. For this in particular, how did you come up with the idea to start this without giving away the niche or anything like that? Was it you know something you were just interested in, or did you do like competitive research to start the site? We did competitive research. I was a banker for 15 years, so once I retired from the that particular venue, my wife was a computer programmer. She kind of got me hooked onto it, and we took it from there. Awesome. Very cool. So for someone that is brand new to online businesses, and maybe they don't understand what we mean when we say it's an AdSense site or an advertising site, could you just briefly describe in a couple sentences how it makes money? The platform itself is focused on ad-generated revenue. So that means you have to actually go out and solicit through networks or through leads advertising for your site. Now, there's multiple ways to do that. And there's multiple programs and multiple niches that you could get in to bring revenue to the site. A lot of individuals like to do AdSense or other big business corporate ad programs, but usually those sites are net 30 or net 60. If you go out and you gain leads and you solicit advertising yourself, usually you can use a prepay format or a CPM format, which is an impression-based format. And gain those revenues yourself directly, so B2B. And you can also, you know, tighten up, since you're going to be the new entrepreneur, tighten up the rotation or will it be static or, you know, how you wish to format the relationship between you and the potential client. Excellent. And, you know, typically these sites are not passive necessarily, but, you know, fairly low maintenance once they get going. Why are you selling the business? Why not keep it and grow it? At this time, we are, we're looking at three things. Number one, we're looking at making more investments into our main platform, Fats Newsroom and the Jazz platform. We want to buy more music for the library. Number two, we think it needs a lot of upgrades so the individual that will actually be procuring it, we have some ideas that they could riff off of to make it an even more profitable platform. And I think three, I really want to focus on the political niche, since that's very, very vibrant in the U.S. <laughs> Especially recently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. So you're going to sell the business and use the capital to help you grow and allow the extra time to focus on these other projects of yours. When you first started this one, though, what was the trajectory of it? Did it, did it take a while for you to start seeing any kind of profit, or was it pretty quickly once you got going? It was pretty quick. We had another platform that was already built. So we could 
actually solicit clients from that platform to transition over. So revenue was, you know, immediate when we started, but now it's longstanding in reference to its own separate platform. And when you're gaining local advertisers, it's pretty easy. Most people look at the site, look how you know, the banners and the marketing areas are set up, and most people get the ideal that you can sell the site pretty easy. You just got to get the right price point. Right. So now that since you're moving on to another business or focusing on your other ones, is there anything you learned from this business in particular, like one lesson that just worked really well for you that you were going to be applying into your other projects, or maybe you already are applying? I think in reference to selling off this platform right here, I think what we really learned is that we needed to focus in a lot more on the actual content of the platform. We always use primary content providers, but a lot of people like to write. So writing now is becoming one of my pet nuances now. What do you mean by pet nuances? Uh, well, now you can you can write your own opinions, you can write your own analysis. So ah. when you're doing so when you're doing things like that, Google picks that up as being a new article or a new type of um, I don't know what it is, but it knocks it, it up and it gives you more hits, which is really kind of cool. But second, it really gets your opinions out there. So therefore, there's no filter and you don't have to look for another individual to kind of write the word, to kind of see the thoughts that you're seeing. So. That's great. Yeah, that's a great idea. Is there anything you did with the site that didn't work? Something you're like, oh, man, I really wish I hadn't done that? Um, not really. No. We, we looked at the site. <laughs> no, I, I mean, honestly, we looked at the site, and we kind of knew what we wanted to do when we started it up. I think the if there was any type of negative, we didn't create enough market area to sell for our clients to get their best bang for the buck. So I think if there was a negative, and there's a lot of areas on the platform to really do market area advertising, I think we didn't want it to be cluttered, but, you know. With traffic, is it all organic? Like, are you getting your yep, primary Everything traffic? is organic. Everything is organic? Okay, everything, so. Everything is driven by an organic conceptual view. We, like I said, we do it by social media. The platform has a social media component. Also, because it transitioned from a different platform, you have some old heads, excuse me, <laughs> but, you know, people <laughs> who just go to the site. So it's going to be, yeah, it, it's going to be a, a constant, unique, organic-driven site. And how are the earnings? Are they uh, pretty stable, or do you see any kind of fluctuation throughout the year? Okay, on the earnings, you're going to have what we call quarterly influxes. It depends on how, number one, the, the client looks at, you know, how he wants to structure his or her revenue. What we did is that we took one big client or two big clients, and we made them pay quarterly. Now, the rest of that, we tried to do with local advertisers, so you see the changes in reference to revenue. So between the months of January and February, you may have you know, low revenue numbers, but usually March and April, you get big, huge hits. So you would think every three months, you should be getting substantial revenue with no problems. Excellent. So how much content is on the site? I mean, it doesn't have to be a precise number, just like an estimation. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Easily 41,000. It's a lot. 41,000? Yeah, there's a lot of content. Wow, there's that's a lot. a lot of content. Are you adding content on a monthly basis to the site? Daily. Daily. So you have some kind of writer that does this for you, I'm assuming? I do it. Uh, I just stated we do have content providers. So the site is updated daily. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I didn't realize it was that aggressive. That's great. The more content, the better for sure. What do you think is, if you wanted to keep this business and keep growing it, what would be the least risky path you'd focus on to grow this business? Would it just be keep adding more content daily like you have been doing? Nope. We would start increasing the social media outreach using new niches, whether it be Instagram or other areas. People really like content. They like to have pictures or images with that content. We do have that. You just got to get out there and really, it's like working advertising also. Just got to get out there and work with the people, and they'll give you the feedback immediately. At any given time, any day, I'm getting 30 to 40 emails a day in reference to something on the platform. 
so you can adjust or you can talk about the topic that they're wanting to talk about or just get, you know, feel their feedback and see what you can do about it. What would you do if you were incredibly risky, didn't care, you, you know, threw caution to the wind and wanted to grow the site as quickly as possible? Would you do anything different? Probably add video content to it. If you did video content, that would probably grow the site immensely. But that stated that possibly it will increase your back office expenses. Right, of course. And overall, speaking of risk, what do you think the biggest risk is for a site like this that a buyer should be aware of? Just the, the ad revenue. There could be times where, you know, you're not working your local leads properly, so you have a low month in reference to revenue coming in. But other than that, with the content that's provided and with the highway of information, they should be fine. When you say working local leads, what do you mean by that? Could you just, like, briefly explain? Well, I mean, local advertisers, I don't know what who would be buying it or, or whatever. But say, for instance, me living in Vermont, I go to my, you know, my closest towns. I talk to a lot of good friends. It's a little, you know, this is Vermont, so everybody knows everybody. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can easily gain, you know, avenue, you know, revenue from B2B operations and stuff like that. So. Ooh, and do you source these leads yourself, or are these leads kind of just finding you? Sometimes I source them myself. Sometimes they listen to jazz radio station, and then they get back to me. A lot of things, you know, if you were a big corporation, you would just buy a lead page. And, you know, they have a list of, you know, B2B operators in a certain area. And you could just go down that list and cold call and probably pop out, you know, five or $10,000 a, a month with no problems. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So what kind of work are you currently doing? We already talked about you're adding content on a daily basis through yourself and content providers, but are you doing anything else on a weekly or monthly basis to currently maintain the site? We do the behind the office works. We integrate, we program, we upgrade all the platforms. We adjust our, our media content. The images in themselves, because there's like 60 or 70,000 images just on that platform alone. So you got to do that over four platforms. In reference to our jazz radio, you're talking about almost 600,000 titles in our library. So we have to do programming and stuff like that. We update in the morning. So for Fats Newsroom, from business news all the way down to opinion pages, we have to bring all that content in, vet it, pick the right stories for the right area, and pick our, our top six, and then maybe pick an analysis or, a, uh, like I said, an opinion page opinion article for our top news thought of the day. So we have a lot to do, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what skills or requirements would you suggest a buyer have if they are looking at the site? Be able to follow instructions. It's pretty easy to run our platform. We did it on a WordPress because I was a dummy at tech back in the day. I have a great skepticism, always want to know information, it's pretty easy. I mean, literally, a kid could do it. It's awesome. And allocate yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. And allocate roughly four to five hours a day, you know, that, to to improve the site. And if you do that, you'll have no problem. Would you be willing to sign a non compete with the new buyer? Yeah, I think I've talked to, talked about that before. I have no problem with that. And how much support would you be willing to offer that buyer? Um, as much as they need it. I mean, if they have a problem in reference to maybe gaining a new advertiser, I would work with them in, in reference to that. If they didn't understand the platform, which I don't, wouldn't, you know, I can't foresee, but if they didn't, <laughs> I would definitely work with them in, in reference to that. And, you know, if I, they wanted a long term relationship, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I like the site, I like the platform, you know, I love working on it. It's just that we see some potential opportunities that we can definitely do on other platforms. So we have to pick something, and that's what we did. And obviously, the best case scenario here for you and for Empire Flippers is. Someone comes out and buys this business for full list price, but would you at all be open to a split or earn out scenario? Say, like they give you 80% up front and 20% after completing some kind of training, something along those lines? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, cool. I'm not doing any type of financing or anything like that, but yeah, we definitely could work the 80% scenario. Right, yeah, it's always case by case. I mean, every, every one of those deals are pretty unique when they do happen. Before I ask you my final question here, Tony, my hot seat question, if you will, just to remind everyone out there listening in, a quick summary of this business. It was built in April 2011, has a monthly revenue of $2,969, expenses of $251, 
and a net profit of $2,718. And that is over a three month average with this purchase. Also includes the domain, the WordPress program, graphics and files, and all the media on the server. So my final question for you, Tony, is what is your best pitch in 30 seconds or less on why someone should purchase this business? If you want to be an entrepreneur, (laughs) it's an easy business to get into. It's pretty easy to learn. The upside is pretty great on your revenue side. There's no real negatives to it. It's something that if I had known this a long time ago, I would have been into it, into the media operation ASAP. I have friends that were into media operation, and I never really got it, but this is great. I love it. (laughs) That's awesome, man. So for everyone out there, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want more information, the link will be below this video that would take you to our marketplace listing. Now, if you're watching this on the actual listing page and you want more information, you can become a depositor today. All you do is click the button, make a deposit, and you'll be given everything you need to review this business. Tony, thank you so much for coming on, man. It was an absolute pleasure. Oh, great. Thank you.